Well, let's start off by wishing everybody Happy New Year because this is recorded 1st of January 2019 and yes, I'm out on a golf course. Quick nine with Sid, who will ask some questions to a bit later to this same question. And the question is, as the title suggests, do we need to improve our golf game? Do we need to get better? Is that what it's all about? Seen a lot of questions, sort of uh, New Year's resolutions almost. A lot of questions on social media. What are your targets golf-wise for 2019? And I have to say, I don't really have any. Am I going about this all the wrong way? You see, the thing is, over the years, last few years in particular, my game has gotten worse. At least on paper it has. According to my handicap, I'm a far worse player than I was four or five years ago and a handicap never tells lies does it that's what this game is all about so it's all about setting targets and when I say targets it's about improving your game it's about having lessons it's about making a better stroke it's about getting round 18 holes better than you did in a previous year or is it You see, that's what my game used to be about. That's what golf was to me. It was about competition. It was about turning up on a Saturday morning, shooting the best score I possibly could to be the lowest handicapped golfer I possibly could be. Did I enjoy golf then more than I did now? No. Simple answer, no I didn't. I get far more enjoyment out of the game now than I ever have done. And that's because I play a lot more social golf. I play a lot of rounds like I do now. Come around, I'll play 12 holes with my dad. And I just enjoy it. I enjoy everything about it. And the good shots and the bad shots don't really matter. That means I'm a, not as good as a player that I used to be. My handicap is not as good as it used to be. But what, what, what does that really matter? Have you got to have targets? Have you got to improve? To my mind, I'm not sure you do. Right, I've got a question for you. Do you have to improve at golf to enjoy it? Yes. You have to improve? Yes. Well, why is that? Because the better you play, the more you enjoy it. Simple as that. I love to improve all the time and I listen to what you tell me. And if you've noticed, I've hit this three wood better this morning because you told me what to do. So you get more enjoyment by playing better, basically? Yes. Okay. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yep. There you go, immortal words. And totally different than I just suggested. And that's why, let's walk out of here, out the, into the breeze. That's why this game as well is so, so interesting to me, because it's all about getting enjoyment out of this game for different reasons and it's different for everybody that's the key thing isn't it there's no right or wrong in this but it's so different to people's opinions and I think the large majority of people are in this game to always improve and get better on it and I think that's the popular opinion I'm a minority aren't I Yeah, it was a good one. Let's get that camera moved. That's a bit better. So that was a good shot, and uh, it quite could have easily been a bad shot. And what would have happened then? Because I know from in the past, when I was really enjoying playing golf from a competitive side, then a bad shot was the end of the world, and a bad round was the end of the universe, and uh, it would ruin my Saturday my wife had paid a price because I'd be in a bad mood for the rest of the day because I didn't play golf very well in the morning in a, in a competitive round. Is that enjoyment? 
I don't think so. And the thing is, what price is it to pay? So for me to get better at golf, it means dedicating a lot more time to uh, <laughs> constructing a more reliable uh, swing than I've got currently, which mean a lot of lessons and a lot of time and effort spent and energy spent in trying to make me better at the game. And I'm just not prepared to do it. So is it down to just purely my laziness and not being prepared to commit to getting better at this game. So following on from that question then, yeah. so if you don't play any good, have you not enjoyed it? Well, no, obviously you just enjoy a round of golf, but I mean, you know, the better you play, the more you enjoy it. And it's the old saying as well, practice makes perfect, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was going on about. You bought me that new three wood for Christmas. Yeah. And you told me where I was going wrong. I practiced with it, and I come out this morning. So, because right. you because you played better with it today than you did the other day, you've enjoyed it more. Basically, exactly. that's the point, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And you will do. Would you rather play competitive golf or non-competitive golf? Competitive. Would you? Yeah. What, what happens when you play for 20 pence on a Monday? <laughs> That's competitive. That's like playing for the Crown Jewels. Hey. And if you lose 20 pence, do you enjoy it as much as no. winning 20 no. pence? <laughs> no, I hate losing. When we used to play every Saturday competitively, yeah. if you didn't have a bad round, if you had a bad round, it ruined your bloody day. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but I mean, you know. If you're not going to play competitive, it's taking the shine off the game. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it's about competitive. I think you still play competitive, but it's whether or not you need to improve was the point. Oh, do you need to improve? Of course you do. As I'm saying, you know, any sport. <laughs> but well, well, if you take if you take my situation I, i'm worse now a worse golfer now according to handicap than i've ever been for the last 15 years right do i enjoy it any less because of that do you know what i mean mm. that's the that's the thing for me i don't i can't base it on handicap which at the end of the day that's about improving isn't it in yeah. golf yeah. improvement is about handicap yeah if you're not if your handicap's going the other way then you're actually you're not improving you're on the decline yeah now I'd say I enjoy the game more now than I did when I was a six handicapper. Because like I said, I still love the competitive bit, that's not the same. You know, I can compete whatever handicap I've got. I like I like playing competitive golf. I look look I look forward to playing on a Monday for on a Monday morning for a quid. Yeah. It's it's great. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, you, you that's competitive, that's not improving though, is it? Are you improving as a golfer? I think it makes you improve. Yeah. I think so, because you've got to improve, otherwise you're going to be losing a quid every week, aren't you? <laughs> so you better improve what's back here. Right, so this one's back over to you. All about the comments now. What is your opinion? What are your targets? Comment down below. What are your targets for 2019? Is it all about lessons? Is it all about getting that swing better to enable you to play better golf to score better to reduce your handicap is that what it's all about for you for 2019 or is it something different is it about just enjoying the banter the f the, the friendship the beer in the bar afterwards is it about like me is it just about getting out there on the course enjoying the i enjoy the courses i just enjoy the different courses i enjoy the different sights that i see I enjoy visiting the different places i, I enjoy everything that comes i love all the banter and the crack as well but the big difference for me, I suppose, is where I'm different from what I'm seeing at the moment has been the mainstream answer is that being better at golf is not my ultimate goal. And it doesn't, it's not the bit that brings me the ultimate enjoyment from this game. Don't get me wrong, if I go round and shoot level par, there'll be nobody that goes home and enjoys the tea any better than me. But by the same token, if I don't, if I'm 15 over, Ain't going to make a great deal of difference either. I'll still go on and enjoy my tea with a smile on my face. So, targets, what are they for 2019? Stick them down below, comments box, as ever. 
I'm going to finish off this round. I've got three holes to go. It's a quick nine hole. New Year's Day. Once again, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching all these videos. And tune in on the 3rd of January when there's an absolute barrage of videos coming your way. Seriously. I'm doing some product testing right now as we speak. And those videos are endless from the 3rd of Jan. See you soon. Unlucky. You owe me 20 pence. <laughs>